Hi there guys, um, I thought I'd do a little review, review today. I recently got through the post um, an AccuCover lens cap. Sorry about the poor light, I'm trying to light things up as best I can with a couple of torches, but I was talking with these bloody energy saving bulbs, they're not really that great are they? Anyway, um, this is an AccuCover lens cap as you're probably familiar with. I don't know if you get these in the States, but what it's got is that when you flip it up, can get it too. It's got these arrows. Now the advantage with these arrows is you line them up with the crosshairs on your scope and when you look down the scope it stops you getting what's known as cant and um, parallax errors. Parallax being when you look down the scope if your eye isn't exactly in the middle um, the you know your, your sight will be off and where you think you're aiming isn't where it's actually aiming. Um, so when you've got these uh, arrows, because they're lined up perfectly with the crosshairs, if you're if you are sort of looking down the scope wrongly and you've got this parallax error, um, it won't you know you, you'll automatically correct it. You won't even have to think about it. It just sort of comes sort of logically. Um, the other thing that it does is it stops you having what's known as cant error. So when you're looking down the scope and, you, and if you tilt the gun left or right by accident because you haven't brought the gun up to you properly without realising it, again these arrows won't be properly lined up so automatically your eye is drawn to um, make sure that these are lining up properly. Now allegedly, I haven't actually tried this out yet although uh, my friend Tom has been using one for a while, but allegedly it will improve your shooting by about 25% on average and that's not just with air rifles, that's with you know rim fires, full bore rifles, whatever you're using really. So it's a great little sort of handy little thing to use. Um, they come with three colours, um, I think it's this one's green, there's blue and there's like red depending on the sort of size of the end of your scope that you need. Most people probably go for this one though um, because it's fairly sort of normal size for most scopes. Um, it's quite well built, it's sort of rubbery, you know, if you feel on here it goes on nicely. The really good feature is if, is if you look at this cap here, um, one of the problems that you often have with uh, lens caps is that, that you keep smacking your hat on it when you're looking down the scope. But with this, it goes all the way flat, so it, it, it's sort of good for that as well. So uh, overall I'm pretty pleased with it to be honest. Um, I mean, the reason I got it was because my old one, which is just a sort of bogo, normal, scope cap broke on, on my rifle and I needed a new one and a replacement you know for the same as I had before would have been like a tenner and these are 20 quid so it, it's not really going to break the bank and I think it's sort of um, a worthy investment um, uh, I think they do ship internationally so you know um, some of our fans in uh, like Denmark um, like the, the shrouded pellet or Doblin's rock down in Texas if you can't get this in your local gun shop if you go to uh, accucover.com they will ship it to you I think it takes a bit longer um, it took like three days for me um, but it's you know it's not it's not too expensive and um, it's, it's, it really is a worthwhile investment so uh, yeah I recommend you get one um, these were like they were going mad about these at the British shooting show last year so uh, yeah it's only taken me nearly a year to get one but there we go I got there in the end um, the shooting speaking of the shooting show it's coming up in a couple of weeks so I'm hoping to do a sort of video on, on it um, it won't be as good as your sort of shot show over in the States but you know it's pretty good it, the army are usually there so you get to play with a few SA80s and um, AKs and a few pistols and things and they've got an air rifle range and clay pigeon shooting and lots and lots of just guns for sale generally really so I'll probably have a walk around and show you guys you know what a, what a gun show is like over here um, so yeah that's that's sort of uh, something to look forward to this weekend um, hopefully I'll do a bit more pigeon shooting I'll have to see what happens really so uh, so yeah I hope you like the review it's just a quick one really just thought I'd sort of chuck something in there um, but uh, yeah I highly recommend it uh, so as I always say like and subscribe